Oh yes, it is another nice quiet here in Home Depot. And I thought I would come in here to continue my for a few items that I was unable to get at Black Friday. And maybe see if we can pick up a few more tools for our giveaway here. That's coming up next week. So hello everybody, Jeff here and welcome back to the channel. So let's going to start down the aisle here and uh, look for some goodies here. Hey, what's up there, Rowan? How are you? How is everybody doing tonight? So as we were coming down here looking down the aisle, I was checking for some new Milwaukee items that hadn't come in yet. So I want to see what we got. Yeah, Jeff is always working. Man, let me tell you what a busy day today was. I spent all day from 9 a.m. until about 3.30 packing up all of the free tools that we did for the giveaway the other day and uh, mailed them off. I got them into FedEx. They have a cutoff time now of 4 p.m. It's no longer 6 p.m. You got to be there by 4 p.m. And so I got there just in time. All right, so here's what I'm looking for right here, folks. I've been looking for this for last several weeks. It seems like everybody and their mother got their hands on this before I did. <laughs> I was beginning to wonder what the heck's going on. Because everybody's usually bragging on our streams. Man, your store has a lot of stuff. Blah, blah. And look at this. So we finally got here. The Milwaukee Top Off here. So you know what that means. Now that means i got to go buy the stupid uh, Ryobi one so I can do the, the tool review and compare them both. they got this beeping thing here behind me. It sounds like I'm at 7-Eleven. So, yeah, this is going to be nice. This will be part of our haul for tonight. What do you think? So we'll get that. We'll do a good tool review on that one. And let's see. John says, Jeff, do you think DeWalt will have pre-cut Kaizen foam for the Tough System 2.0? No, um, DeWalt usually doesn't do that. It's you got to go to Kaizen um, themselves to get it. And I had actually contacted him over the summer. I need to, um, I think his name is Bill. It's either Bill or Bob. I forget his name. And I need to touch base with him again on that because I had called him in july when i got mine and asked him if he had any kaizen foam for it the, the dewalt tough system 2.0 and he said he can't even get his hands on a box yet and he wanted me to send me mine send him mine up up there uh let's see uh, there's nothing else over there yeah so this is 99 bucks i'm glad to finally get my hands on this puppy see it's got the rafter hook on there too that's nice uh there was another light deal over here we showed you this on Sunday when I was at the other Home Depot, but you know how they have really, really bad signal over there. So I thought I would come in here and show it to you on this one here. So here's the, they got the M12 light and it's down to 129. So, yeah. so normally they have this light at 169. And what we did over the summer was there was a, a, a starter pack with two four amp hour batteries that if you bought those two four amp hour batteries for 169 you got to choose a tool for free so i chose the the m12 rocket light there and omesh watching from guyana all right that's pretty far any hybrid fans on sale not that i've seen uh, they put some heaters up over there around the corner we're going to look at those in a minute there uh so this is a decent deal they had a deal with this the other day <clears throat> where I think it came with a battery or something like that. And I don't I don't know if that deal is still up or not. It probably isn't. I think it might have been a, a deal of the day. <clears throat> Let's see if they got anything else yet. One thing we still don't have here is the lasers. And I don't think that this store has the new Rover yet. Although this one might... I just haven't seen it in person yet, so I don't I don't think so. I think this is the older one. I was trying to um, when I saw them show it on the on the pipeline announcement, I was trying to memorize like the pattern of the LEDs to differentiate it from the existing ones, but I don't know. I don't think that's the new one. So I had to buy more shipping stuff here. We shipped out so many tools. If you guys watched our live stream last night, you'll see all of the tools that we bought. We bought 500 bucks worth of tools over at Lowe's for the next tool giveaway that we're going to go live and announce on next Monday. Okay, so I wanted to point out something strange going on today with this rigid 
table saw. So here's the one, see, with the, that comes with the, with the wheels, right? The stand with the wheels. So right now, and this has been in the Black Friday ad since like the beginning of November, this table saw right now is 349, right? And so it's basically about 200 bucks off because it's normally 549 right there, Let's see? But what's going on interesting with this thing today, and I don't know why Home Depot did this, but on their website, they have it listed as a special buy of the day that expires tonight at midnight, and it says 349 So to me, that doesn't make any sense. I have no idea. If this is already in the Black Friday flyer, and it's already for sale at 349 what makes it a special buy of the day? So I don't know if any of you guys caught that, but yeah, we saw it. And Paul says, hey, Jeff, you got your long johns and one more night. Yeah, <laughs> and it doesn't matter. I like it cold like that. So, uh, yeah, so the miter saw is still 349 They brought in another miter saw over here. Let me just quickly come over here. There's a couple of them, actually, that, that they brought in. So they got this one here, and this is the DWS 713. It's down to $219. It's a 10 inch. It's a single bevel compound miter saw. Okay. So this one is $219 from DeWalt. And there's a bigger one. Is that the bigger one here? So we have another one. This is the, I think, the 779. No. This is the DWS 716. So this is 349. So it's basically. Well, it's a double bevel, and it is a compound miter saw. It's not a slider. So this would be one model down from the 779 and the 780. Um, I personally would rather get one that's got a slider on it because you can cut wider wood with it. And somebody tell me why every time I walk over in this specific spot to film something, that's when they decide to start making keys. All right. So Ryobi has brought in this 10-inch table saw with a folding stand. I mean, you can't beat this price, folks. $189, perfect for a DIYer or a homeowner. So I'm definitely digging that price on that. And they also have a 7 and a quarter inch sliding miter saw, 10-inch. Uh, that's, that's your cross-cut capacity on that. Now it doesn't say, and I can't really tell by looking at the picture, if it's a double bevel or not. But yeah, 189 is a good price. There's your model number on it and everything. Let me see if, we, if it indicates. Yeah, I, I mean, I think they would be bragging if it was a double bevel. I don't know. It does have an LED cut line on it. And let's see. Nothing on there says what kind of bevel. So I'm going to assume it's only a single bevel. And did they bring in any more of these guys? Which, that's the six-piece combo kit. Oh, yeah, they did. So they restocked these. So it seems like the Ryobi section here was selling the most tools of, of any of the companies here. And then they, they restocked again. And I'm trying to see if they still have that, uh, that wrench deal like the other one did. The, the ratchet, the 3 inch ratchet with the battery kit for 89 so I don't see it, and it's weird because they didn't, they didn't like advertise it on any of the, the signs here or anything, but totally strange. I'm gonna see if they have it here at this store. Bum, bum, bum. What do we got? That's not here. Yeah, so only that other store had it. Okay, so they, yeah, they sold out already of the, that was the four and a half gallon, the wet dry vac. They do have this 10 inch orbital buffer, and I actually almost bought this the other day, except it's corded. So I'm pretty sure this is the one that was corded, and we were looking at it and we got, nah, I don't think so, because I'm trying to avoid, a, a get rid of the corded one I've got now. But man, they must be playing on something big with these. Oh, look at So here's the... They got like more stacks of it here, and they got more stacks of it here. They must be planning something with this coming up. I mean, it's already at a pretty decent price over there, but I have a feeling that might, they might be lowering the price more 
we're planning to go more. And then I noticed here today they brought in a whole bunch of these DeWalt fans. Look at this. They got boatloads of them on this side and over here on the other side, too. The problem is, is 129 and this is a tool only. I mean, the price is just way out of line, folks. So to give you an idea, back in March, I came in here and bought the kit that came with the battery. I can't remember if it came with a charger or not. It must have. Um, but anyway, that was $99. And then I had other people telling me that they were paying $75 in their stores for the kit, too, as well. So I don't know. I might, might want to hold off on that one. And then a lot of people keep asking me about the brad nailers on sale. Yeah, this is the one here that I like from DeWall. This is the same one I have. The one, yeah, the, the 233. So that's the 18 gauge, and it's got the finish point on the end there, or precision point. So right there, that it's like a little yellow cap on the end of it that helps you find out where you're shooting the brad nail better. That's what I like about this one. So there you have it on that. I decided to finally pick up the breaker bars tonight because I, I forgot to get them like a couple of weeks ago. So we're tonight we're getting breaker bars. And oh yeah, so the whole dozers are still twenty nine ninety seven here for the nine pack. So they did this last year at Black Friday too. Let's see. And I saw the Milwaukee truck outside earlier. That was pretty cool. Now, these we showed you on Wednesday night. Last, last Wednesday is when they got these in. So this is that a kit here with the Atomic Impact Driver for $159. So it comes with two batteries and the charger and the bag. The only thing that we don't like about it, these batteries is these are these tiny little 1.3 amp hour batteries. which And they don't have a gauge on them. So I, to me, I just I don't like them. They're, but... I guess for the homeowner, this is, this is an ideal kit for the homeowner. Although I still think that the, the brushless drill driver and the brushless impact kit that they have over at Lowe's is better. Just because it's cheaper, it's 99 bucks. And uh, we bought one of those last night to give away. So, hey, if you folks are tuning in next week when we do our announcement of the, the tool giveaway live and what tools we're giving away, you will see that kit there. And today we mailed off our Atomic kit. So somebody won that the other day. The 4-tool Atomic kit. Okay, let's see. I was looking at this. This just like caught my eye here because it was sitting here all by itself. And I wish these guys would start making them where you can like charge at least two at the same time. And then the rest sequential. But this is a complete sequential. To me, I don't know. You know, if you're on the job site, you know, it, it happens sometimes. You forget to charge a few batteries and you find yourself desperately needing batteries there, you know, and that's it. All right, let me go back and see if we got any questions. Holy cow, man, the stream is just like, there's boatloads of comments there, but I think I saw a couple of super chats. Let me zoom in on that there. Oh, and Jeff Baker said that the, his Home Depot had the DeWalt 10 compartment organizers back in stock today. We're still empty here. We don't have them. We ran out. Um, I don't even know if they have them online, you know. And Shaka Gillis checked in and says, hello, Jeff. What's up, Shaka? Man, this is your this is your time, Shaka. Look at this. We got boatloads, boatloads of the Ryobis here. We got a bunch here. Hold on, the school, the school keeps calling. I hate when they do that, man, those automated robocalls. We got more more Ryobi here. Oh, it's just a sea of beautiful shade of green. You'd love it, Shaka. Wish you were here. <laughs> All right, let's check on a little further here. And sure enough, yeah, Shaka Gillis did leave us a two dollar super chat. It says Ryobi's trash. So wait a minute. So you're saying this is trash? So in Shaka's opinion, he says. This is for extremely loud. My gimbal just freaked out. I think the battery died on me. Hang on, let me pull the phone off of it. Hang on. Oh, this will take a second here. That's what it looks like. And uh, the battery, if it freaks out on you, when it dies, that's it, you know? Anyway, um, what were we talking about? Looking near. There was something else we were gonna look for over here. Let's 
sometimes when you come into the store, you look down on like these little things like this, and you'll find stuff on sale, like this battery pack here. I think this is the one, yeah, the starter kit. So this is at 80 bucks right now. And I was trying to find the other uh, Super Chats that came in. And yeah, we have one from Mark Frank. Sent in a $5 Super Chat. Thank you so much. And he says, shout me out, please. So here we have, this one is, is down to $80 from 99 and I forget what it was before it was when before it was 99. But normally, let me see. If these are the 2.0s, I think these are normally about 60 bucks a piece. Anyhow, if you're going to buy these by themselves. And then of course we have the M12 fuel quarter inch. Not, well, that one's not the quarter inch. See, I think they put this on the wrong. This is the half inch, and I'm willing to bet that's the the mid torque. Let's see. I don't even know if they got one here. Oh, they might have it. So that sticker up there was meant for this guy. 99 bucks for this kit. See, here's the wrench. Wait. But I don't see... See, normally they got it as two. So they got it as seventy-nine tool only. But here's the kit. This is the one I was talking about. Let me see if they got it. Uh, the ratchet with the kit only. Yeah. So here it is. So you can come in here and you can either pay seventy-nine for tool only, which I haven't even seen the tool only boxes. All they have here is the kit. This kit is the special buy, and it says while supplies last. So you're getting a 1.5 amp hour battery and the charger. And let's see, Vincent R was saying, Jeff, was your 319 piece kit over at Lowe's there, 79? Mine was, I think it was 71.55. It was even lower than that. So those prices keep dropping in Lowe's, but the problem is, is you can't find the kits anymore. I got extremely lucky on my live stream last night because we were searching the store for 20 minutes, couldn't find it. And then eventually we uh, spotted it on a sales associate's cart. They were just walking by with, with one of those trucks with a bunch of stuff that they were putting back. And I'm like, the only thing that caught my eye was the 319 on the box. I'm like, dude, that's it. Yeah, so we grabbed that one. And let's see, John says the 1.3 amp hour batteries are good for the speakers. <laughs> yeah, right? <clears throat> And DCG says, what's up, John? Let's see if we got any other questions that are coming in here. We got Mark Frank staying there. And then uh, Seabass says, was that DeWalt mobile miter saw stand on sale? It looks like it's part of something. Because look, let me, let me see what it, the sticker is on it here. They're saying $5.99. So, I don't know if that's just part... Uh, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That thing isn't really $5.99, is it? I think it's part with the table saw. I think if you get the table saw, it goes with it. And I'm not sure if it's if it's on the, the big one or not here. The 780. See, sometimes when they're doing these sales... Lowe's does this and Home Depot does this. It, you, you stand there questioning what the heck's going on. And you know what? If you want something to sell, you, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't leave the people questioning what's going on. So this is the saw here, which I believe it is, the 780. So I don't know if they're giving that stand with it or not. So. And let's see. Mike Land checked in also with a $2 Super Chat. Thank you so much, Mike. He says, keep up the good work. And uh, nothing else really down this section. Let me see if they still have. The, so here's the the rigid saw out of the box, okay. and this is the one that we still can't figure out why it was on the the special buy of the day. And Novus Nick says I saw the 780 last night. It's a beastly saw. It is. 
And the only difference between the 780 and the 779 that they were selling over at Lowe's was this guy. But you can buy this little kit aftermarket. I've heard prices anywhere from 30 to 50 to 70 bucks, you know. Let me get that back there. And one thing I've noticed too, folks, is look at this. About a month ago, I showed you like how full everything was up top there. Now it's really starting to thin out. They're starting to bring down a lot more of the DeWalt stuff. They've gotten all that cleared up. Some of the Milwaukee has thinned out. And when I came in to buy my Milwaukee pack out, um, the pack out light, they, they left like three of them up there. I had to send the guy up there to go get it. So it's like they didn't bring everything down that I think should have been down, you know. If you want something to sell, it's got to be where people can see it. All right, so now make sure we got all of these miter saws and stuff here. They still have the Makita six tool. Is that the six tool or five? Two, four, six, yeah. So this one's still here for $2.99. And they still have this rigid one. And I think this one, I forget what the price was on this one. Is that $3.99 on the rigid kit? This is the five-piece combo kit. Gen 5X motor technology. And it comes with two four amp hour batteries and the charger and a bag. And this Milwaukee kit over here, I think is still $5.99. And Novus Nick says, my Home Depot and Lowe's are fully packed with product, no discounts at all. That's weird. I, I always thought it's like a national thing. That if it's on the Black Friday flyer, that they would all, you know, be partaking in that. You know? Let me see what else they added here. Cause, oh, so, so I wonder if they lowered this. Because I don't remember this price being this. This is $7.97, you guys. Oh, hold on. I don't know why it's doing that. Let me go to this one. So this is the 50 set for the impact driver. And I tell you, man, for eight bucks, you can't beat that price. What's up there, Nomi? You cannot beat this price. What I want to know is how much is this other set behind it? The 90 piece. See, because this is a, another great lifeboat set. Because not only do you have your paddle bits, you got a whole bunch of drill bits here. And I see some concrete bits as well. And then you have all your little tiny driver bits there, right? But look up here, you got some hole saws. So this looks like a nice little one size fits all kit to you have in the back of your truck or something as an emergency. And you know what? I think they're taking down the DeWalt section over here. Let me see what's going on. Because he was moving all of that stuff. Is he? Uh, maybe not. I think he brought some stuff down and was looking. Looked for a minute there like they were taking that whole down. Uh, so what do we have left in terms of the, the DeWalt, the storage stuff here, see nothing. They do have a few Milwaukee packouts left. Oh, we got a couple of these left still, the tough system organizers. I picked up two of those, the half size organizers. Those will be great. Um, when you don't need the full bay all the way across there. But I'm surprised that they didn't sell more of these kits here. And we got quite a few of the rigids left oh here's what I wanted to show you here's what came in um, the other day so we got some space heaters now so we got these big comfort zones 1500 watts 5120 BTU these are 49.97 and does it say how tall they are tip over cutoff switch here's your price on it and then there's this one here that's called life smart it's a quartz infrared. It's got six infrared quartz elements on it and a remote control. So there's the remote that runs off of that guy. And that's $79.97. And then you got this little fan forced electric utility heater. $24.97, 1500 watts. And it also has tip over on it. So yeah, all of these, these heaters just came in over the last couple of days. And uh is an oil-filled radiator. That's a weird one. I've never seen one of these down here. Usually we get all these electric things in here. 
So that's what we got in terms of the space heaters. Reina, we actually had our first cold day yesterday. It was awesome. It was uh, like in the 50s, so I went over to my friend's house to mow his lawn while he's out of town, and his, his lawnmower didn't work. So now I'm faced with going back over there tomorrow, possibly, and I want to just get some other deals down this way. Yeah, it's actually a little chilly out tonight, too. I think it's in the high 60s right now. So we still got boatloads of these ridges. These are... Yeah, it's the NXTs, too. And I like the NXTs because they got a better switch on them. This is the 12... Five peak horsepower, but these are just kind of, um, they're huge. So make sure if you get one of these that you really, really need this because they take up some volume, folks. A lot of square footage area, big footprint in the old garage. And Stan the Man says those M18 4.0 battery free tool ends tonight. Yeah. I'm going to check them out and see what, other, what else there is on those tonight. Milwaukee's when I get home. Okay, so we still have all of these. They're down to their last DeWalt compressor for 179 So this kit, they did the exact same kit at the exact same price last year. 179 so this is $50 off right here. And that one also comes with that brad nailer that I just showed you a few minutes ago from DeWalt. It comes with that. So here's the one that I didn't see over on the other side. It was the HP version of the the two tool combo kit the brushless one so this is the one that that ryobi announced back in july i think it was and ryobi is doing some other kind of announcement coming up uh i think on december 10th they sent me an email they're doing some kind of a product announcement so i'm curious to see what they're going to have so anyway this kit is 139 down from 179 and you should still be able to use the Lowe's coupon on it, but just not on any of the buy one, get one deals. So if any of you guys have get any of those coupons that we've been telling you about. And Daniel says, clearance. Yeah, we're going to go by there in a second. I did want to make sure I covered this one here uh, before we got down there. And I'm trying to scroll back and see if we got any questions. And Naomi says, do you think those Ryobi Impact bits are any good? Or should I go Cobalt? I would think they're probably in the same range. I mean, I have both kits. Um, I have a big Ryobi one that I just use in an emergency. I leave it in my car. And it actually saved me the other day when, when we had to repair something while we were washing the car. We had to repair one of our hose attachments. And it needed a bit, a teeny, 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 tiny Torx bit. Like, tinier than you could possibly imagine. And it was actually in that kit. I couldn't believe it. So, it didn't surprise me because it's that kit has saved me many times. <clears throat> so, our tabletop saw here is still at $99, but this store is out of them. And I, I haven't checked online to see if they have any in line, online. I might do it. I keep forgetting to do a special on this to just tell people about this saw. And um, put like a link to it online so you can find it and get to it and all that. But, you know, there's like no ladders here. Uh, I think all of the platforms are gone. And all the gorilla platforms are gone. Somebody contacted me yesterday and said they were back in stock. Um, I, I can't remember if he said it was online or in their store. So now we're going to go in and check the clearance. After uh, There's a couple of things on this side. Here's that Ryobi 1600 PSI electric. Uh, this is a plug-in. But what's cool about this is it's portable and lightweight, so you can just kind of carry it around, you know. And this will take up a lot less space in your garage than one of those floor models, the ones that look like the vacuum cleaners, you know. So this is 68 bucks, down from 99 I tell you, if it was battery-operated, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. Okay, so we still have these two, uh, the rigid pair that has the 18-gauge and the 16-gauge. Now, the 16-gauge is a finish nailer, the 18 gauge is a brad nailer and then we still have this one here exact same price but actually by the way both of these were the exact same price last year at black friday both of these exact same price 
the 21 degree collated framing nailer exact same one that we had last year and it's still 169 and I can't remember if they dropped the price on this after Black Friday was over or not that's what I can't remember And let me tell you, I don't know what all of these stores are going to do with all of these cases and cases and cases of hand sanitizer. <clears throat> and most of them don't even work. In, and most of them don't, they're not even, um, what do they call it, disinfectant. They won't, they won't really do like the COVID. <laughs> all right, so let's head back over and go check out the clearance. I did, I kind of walked by earlier and I did see they added a Milwaukee something there. I want to go see what it is and see if it's worth buying. Um, so we did actually have a deal. I don't know if any of you guys partook on it. So remember I, I told you about this De, the DeWalt Atomic kit? They had a deal of the day on Monday where the Atomic, you could, uh, wait, was it the Atomic or was it the, it, it was one of them. I can't remember which one it was. But you would buy the tool and you'd get the five amp hour battery for free. And I'm like, oh. So I had it in my shopping cart because I, I was too busy doing stuff during the day. It was in my shopping cart. And then while it was in my shopping cart, it became unavailable. I mean, what, what kind of luck is that, man? Oh, that was brutal. Because so I was going to buy it, keep the battery for me, and give away the, the drill. So check it out. Stay in the man. Stan got his before mine. He got his like weeks ago somehow. I didn't even know how. I think he got his from Ohio Power or something like that. So I'm glad to finally get that top off there and start filming my tool review on it. Oh, I got to remember to get that Ryobi one too while I'm in here. And I will, of course, use my 10% off Lowe's coupon that they accept here. So these are the two tools here. This one is the mid-torque, it's the fuel. And is that a three eighths inch or a half inch? Can't really tell, it's a half inch with the detent in the middle. But anyway, so there's the, the price. So normally these are 239. I could have sworn there was a deal of the day. Wasn't there something the other day involving this guy? I thought I remembered something like that out of the corner of my mind. Let's see, and then this one has been here for a few weeks. This is the uh, DeWalt. This has got the plunge in the fixed combo kit. There's your model number there. This one, see, no. This was scanning in at 199, and, and that's what the guy checked for me the other day, and it was 199, so it still hasn't really dropped. So I don't know what the deal is. I don't even know why it's on this counter or if it's not going to drop in price at all. Because I thought that was the whole idea of clearance, is that you're dropping the price on something, you know. And the Jack says, I just bought the 20-volt XR Brad Nailer for $199. Used the Lowe's coupon and got it for $179. Awesome. Awesome. I have tears of joy coming down my cheeks when I hear you guys say that, that you were able to get those coupons and get them to use it. I especially like it when our military friends are able to stack the discount. All right, let me see. Anything else? I just got a bunch of light bulbs here. And Jimmy Smith says, your last night deal. Do you feel like 229 for the 41 Cobalt was a good deal? I think it was. Yeah, it's a lot of bits versus sockets. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but at that price level and for the average homeowner, that's more of a really a, a homeowner thing. And it probably has most of the socket sizes they'll ever need. So yeah, for 41 bucks, and let's face it, whoever's getting it is, get, is getting it for free. Oh, there was something I noticed down this aisle. Let me see, was it this aisle or the other aisle? I couldn't figure out what is going on here, because look at this. So pretty much you come down this big aisle here, and as far as the eye can see, they got all these dual fuel generators here. And we're talking, you know, boatloads of them two four six eight right here so eight times one two three four five six seven eight nine, ten there's at least 80 of them going down the aisle here why would you get in 80 of these unless you were planning something so this is something we might want to look at don't know we might be getting an early 
peek at something before it happens. There's your model number there. And so it's a hybrid, it's a dual fuel. See, if your gas runs out, you hook your gas, your propane up to it. I don't know how long it'll last on the propane. Well, that's kind of a, a, neat, a neat idea because most of us have the older gas ones. Okay. So, uh, I, see, I see that Werner ladder here that um, they only get it in like once a year. So this is it right here, the lean safe. I don't know what they're getting for it, but usually when they get this in here, sometimes it's on sale. So I don't know, maybe they're just getting ready, who knows. But yeah, all of the ladders and everything else gone out of here. I couldn't believe how many we had in here, especially those $20 ones, the 1999, and they're gone. Hey, and you know what? I came in looking for, like in the automotive stuff here, virtually everything I'm looking for, they don't have. They have all the Meguiar stuff here, but they don't have the the wheel, the wheel cleaner. They have this Meguiar's wheel cleaner spray that's really awesome, where you take the spray, you spray it on the, on the rims, and after a minute or two, it starts turning purple because it's dissolving all the iron, the brake dust. So that's how you know it's reacting and doing that deep cleaning. But they don't have it here, so I'm going to have to go to AutoZone, I guess. And I was looking for the wax. And, I mean, come on, they don't have the wax? They got the Ultimate Compound, which is good. I have this. I, I usually buy everything from their Ultimate series. But they don't have that. And this stuff is primo. I cleaned off the gook. Hold on. Somebody keeps trying to call me. I have to decline the call. So my daughter's steering wheel on her Mercedes, the leather was all filthy and black, and we used this stuff and got it back completely, totally, 100% brand spanking new. And then I used the, the Lexol uh, leather cleaner on it. All right, so it doesn't... See, they have the ultimate quick wax, but they don't have the ultimate regular wax. That's what we're looking for, so... Yeah. And so Sam says, Jeff, do you think you're too reliant on battery power tools? <clears throat> Pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Because as uh, as I've been buying more and more of them, yeah, have, I'm relying on them. But you just have you just have to be careful that you always have a power source. Now, at least my rocket lights, I can power dual power. I think it's important to be able to do it with that, and I think it's important to be able to do it with your with your miter saw and your table saw. To be able to have dual power so luckily both of mine do and because i have the, the big flexible saw and i'm going to be buying the flexible table saw if i can get it at a good enough deal uh, but yeah it is important to be able to keep everything powered you have to work a lot harder to make sure you always have power going to those things there all right so i think we've covered everything and Elvin says McGuire's is the best. Yep, I've been using them for many, many years. Them and Mothers are really the two best out there. And but there's just so many other great products from Sonax, Griot's Garage. I've used some of their stuff on the wheel cleaners. It's pretty good. Black, was it Black, Black Diamond? I think it's called. Is really good. Some of the stuff that the professionals use. You know. All right. So I think at this point we've covered it all. So we're going to say goodnight, and thank you all for joining us. And so we're going to plan on next Monday night at 8 p.m. live streaming again from my desk like we did last week to show you guys all of the tools that we bought. And I'll just give you a last look at our haul from tonight, which really wasn't too big of a haul. Last night was, man. It was piled up like this with tools. And you know what's funny is I got up to the register there, and they rang everything up, 500 bucks, and I didn't have my wallet with me. I had to drive home and go get it. Go, go hate those moments all right guys so you guys stay safe have a great next couple of days and make sure you're subscribed so you can be alerted every time we upload a new video and we'll see you folks on the next one bye now